Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome in, and, um, well, winter is here in New York. Who would have thunk it, right? Middleburg, New York. Winter. Yeah. I'm here at the Global Warming Conference in New Delhi, where if you can believe your eyes, it's snowing. Now, the landscaping company here in New York, I mean, that's kind of on hiatus, of course. There's not much lawn mowing going on this time of year, but... There is some snow blowing going on, and we've been taking care of that. Of course, the, uh, the the contracts we had beforehand were pretty small. I mean, it's like a driveway I gotta clean up. Really, not much of a problem. Um, this little snow blower in the trailer is all I've been using, to be honest with you. Of course, when you get two feet of snow overnight, all of a sudden, um, your plan kind of goes out the window, right? Yeah, you know what? It's still we got enough. This snow blower seems to be able to handle even even that though. The small problem is, guys, we took a contract up. You know, the landscaping company, it sounds like a great idea, right? Like, you, you get paid for the winter as long as you're able to handle what they got. So, we took a contract at Walmart in town, and, well, Walmart's a little bit bigger than most of the parking lots we've been dealing with. Yeah, the Walmart contract sounded like a great idea until it snowed, because you're going to get paid regardless. You just hope for no snow. Of course, now that we got the snow, I've got to find a way to deal with that. And, uh, to, I mean, we've had to deal with just odds and ends of snow there already, but this, this last dumping we've got here, this is, um... Well, this is, I'm just looking at what we got to deal with here alone, and this is ridiculous. This is a lot of snow. So I started off by going over, and I dealt with all our, the, uh, the historic houses. If you guys remember those? We had the historic houses. We dealt with those already. The driveways are kind of cleaned off there. I'm just trying to dig out my shop quickly here while I have a chance, and then we're going to head over to Walmart and see if I can get that place dug out. I'm a little behind times. Um, I should have been there about uh, 45 minutes ago, but it, it'll be okay. I know that they're trying to dig out. I just talked to the guys over there. They're trying to get dug out as well, so we'll, we'll get it'll be taken care of. You know what? Let me just see if I could quickly make a path out of here. Um, I saw the snow plows going down the main road earlier, so at least there's that. But uh, here you can see there's still, I mean, look at look at our yard. Our yard is a disaster still. I just want to try and make enough of a path so that I can get equipment out of here and my truck out of here. Uh, my truck's right there. I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. I need I need to get the, uh, the front loader to move some of the snow. Oh, this little John Deere's having a struggle, you guys. The struggle is real. <laughs> Look at the amount of snow it's pushing. It's a good thing we got the weights back there. I'll push it down by the silo here. We'll go over to the exit, but yeah, I wouldn't mind being able to get to my, my house back there either, to be honest. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> Look at the snow. Oh, man, we got hit pretty good. This is ridiculous. Guys, I think we might have bitten off more than we could chew with the little John Deere. I thought it might be able to handle everything in here. I mean, it, it can get me in and out of the, out of the yard at least. Um, fortunately, we've bought something else that's going to help me over at the Walmart parking lot. This is going to be still needed just to get some smaller stuff moved around, of course. But holy, there is so much snow here that I don't even know where I'd start. This is, this is pretty epic. Um, let's see if we can just push this kind of off to the side for now. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of snow, you guys. <laughs> All right, we're making a little bit of headway. Let's see if I can dig my truck out. Um... I'm going to push all the snow over to the left there. We're going to have to hit this at high speed, though, in order to get through this. You guys ready? Here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get through it all. Oh! <laughs> just got to ramp it. Oh, I didn't have the blade all the way down. It's, you know what? Let's pray for the best. Pray for the best. Pray for the best. We'll just kind of push this up against the fence here. That's that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, it's a start. It's a start. It's a start. Let's just move the stuff out of the way so I can get my truck out of here. Plus, we got a little another something to move some snow in the shop here which will, um, well, it'll, it'll help for sure. In fact, I'll, I'll probably be able to drive that out at least, but I'm just trying to move this stuff away from my truck first. I need to get that hooked up to the trailer. All right, try again. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Push that snow. Holy, that's a lot of snow. Go, go, go. Nice. Yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there. That's as far as I'm going to go, though. Yeah, there's not going to be too many businesses open today. It's going to take everybody at least a day or so to dig out from this, I'm thinking. There is more than enough snow for everyone to deal with, I think, for the time being. I'm glad to see the roads are kind of cleaned up at least. Like, we're, we're making some headway out here. They, they've gone by, it looks like, with the plows. But I, I just the individual parking lots and all the businesses, guys, that's really going to be the problem. But you know what? That's where I'm going to make some money, it looks like. That being said, uh, the contracts have already been negotiated, which is not ideal. Like, you're kind of gambling that it's going to be a low snow year. And things were working out, but all of a sudden, yeah, the February comes around and, yeah, we get nailed with this snowstorm. So it's worked out all right like this is the first big dump we've had but still it's a lot of snow all right i think we've got enough done i can kind of get down to business here we got the truck there's got enough space to get out of there i'm not going to be uh stuck in a snowbank 
I think it's time we head over to Wally World and uh, start digging out. Yeah, let's not, not too bad, not too bad. Where? Huge news. Ooh, we got the Walmart meeting. Um, we're gonna need probably at least a couple of things. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna bring both these over right now and just take a look and then, well, once we get over there, so we got the snowblower and of course the plow, but we're really gonna need more than that. Uh, we've also got a little wheel loader. Of course we got, our, this is, this is nice. This is our brand new Kubota wheel loader. And on top of that, guys, I got an old used Oshkosh snow with a snowblower on the front. It's like an old airport truck, I believe actually, which is going to come in super handy. I mean, this thing was dirt cheap, so it, it's, it's old, it's used. But whatever, man, it's going to work out perfect for a parking lot. And then I've got some stuff just to pick up some snow and we can, you know, throw in the box if we need to. And then, of course, we've got, well, still our little snowblower. We've got a uh, little John Deere with the plow on the front. For some smaller stuff if we need to get into, I don't know, maybe on the loading dock or up in the front entrance. There could be some areas. I'm not sure yet. I, I, I've done everything with this little snowblower so far as well as that John Deere. So, guys, I don't really need much else usually. Today is going to be a bit different. Uh, my automatic garage door opener is not working. You know what? We'll be only we'll be right back anyways. We've got to come back and get some more tools, I'm sure. So uh, I'll just drop the trailer off and head right back. Let's go. Oh, boy. A lot of snow. A lot of snow. Glad to see the uh, the county's been out here. The town's been out here clearing some snow at least. The roads all seem pretty good um, for the most part. It looks like they've done a decent job. But like I said, I know that uh, the town itself is really going to be where it's hitting some of these secondary roads. We'll see how bad they are. This one looks actually not too bad. I was worried this one wasn't going to be cleared, but looks like they've got to it. Look at that. There's Walmart. Oh boy, this road has not been cleared very well yet. Looks like they've made one pass with it so far. Um, Man, some of the businesses are actually getting pretty cleared out. Unfortunately, the one we're taking care of has not yet. Ugh. And there's cars parked in here, looks like. Yeah, what a mess. I know they had some problems last night. There were some trucks trying to get to the loading dock, which is around this far side. It's uh, all rutted in now. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Look at that. What a mess. All right, I think I'm going to have to park out front here. And uh, we'll see if we can just kind of get up to the doors and take a look. See at it. We'll get everything unloaded here. Oh, man, what a what a disaster this is. This is, this is brutal. Uh, this is not easy to grab onto. Come on, just back it up. Just, just, just go this way. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Just come off the trailer. Please come off the trailer. Oh, there we go. I'll just jump on the on the deck. It'll be fine now. There we go. Miss, could you, you want to give me a hand? No. It looks awfully cold for what you're wearing. I'm just saying. Yes. Oh, do I? How did that happen? Because it's cold out. Yes. Yes. It is a bit nipply out. I mean nippy out. Man, if she was looking for a job, it'd be look like she'd be better to work with than Gertie half the time. Just saying. This guy's walking in the snow as well. I, I don't have any shovels, man. All the shovels are in Walmart. Go get a shovel. <laughs> Let's just see if I can get this thing all the way through here. I'm gonna push this and see if we can get to make a pathway at least to get through here. Look at this little snowblower, though. This thing is amazing. Um, let's just get it up to the front of the doors, at least, and we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See? And then maybe someone can come and like, clean the doors for me, at least, because the entryway, look at the... They tried to... Oh, they've tried to clean it already. They've already tried to move some snow up here, it looks like. And, uh... Well, it seems like it was kind of working out for them, but... Not great. <laughs> yeah, look at that. They've, they've tried to clean out the doors here. Oh, what a mess. I think they've made it worse for themselves, to be honest. Let's just push the snow up against the side here. We can grab this with the uh, the big plow in a bit. Got most of the stuff away from the door, but it looks like the uh, interior's got some snow in it. They're going to have to clean up. Did they leave the door open by accident? Like, it, it looks like it's it's worse off inside than it is out. <laughs> Maybe they left the doors open. Who knows? All right, let's just do one more pass here quickly. I'll just kind of push it a little bit more. It seems to be pretty good at pushing this stuff. Um, I go this way, maybe? Yeah, let's try that. There we go. Push it all over one more bit so we got lots of space to get a tractor through here, or a truck, I should say, and uh, blow the snow a little bit further over. You can see they've tried their best, but uh, when you don't have the right tools for the job, it's just you're not going to get very much, right? Like, there's it's just a, <laughs> ice. Do we need any more ice? No, I think we got enough ice, you guys. I think we're good. Oh, get right up, right up on the machine, clean this door off as well, and uh, we'll go from there. Holy, could be a lot of snow, a lot of snow. Um, man, I think they're closed. I, I think they're closed, dude. Uh, just maybe give it an hour or two. Maybe. Let's see if we can make a little bit more space on this roadway so we can get some more people. If they have any more trucks coming in, they can uh, handle those coming in as well. Put this down. Angle that blade all the way over. Yep. Watch yourselves. Coming through. Let's push the snow over and down to the left. That's better. There we go. Nice and easy. It's going to be a big old pile, but hopefully that Oshkosh can just kind of handle that big pile of snow. 
we can get us all the way to the back at least then they've got access for some trucks that come in oh man now oh, the struggle's real there we go the snow is starting to pack up i just want to like to push it all the way to the back if i can make just a little bit of a pathway here hang on a sec let's see if we can lift this up and make a bit of a run at it lower that blade back down let's go push 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 no <laughs> oh, it's not gonna do it there we go we're good we're good we're good, we're good. push 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 come on let's see if we can get to the back <laughs> nope it just it's too much way too much we gotta get the oshkosh in here i think guys i would love to be able to get back to the loading dock which is just on the right here i just don't think you can handle it the snow is just too thick oh maybe maybe i can get there all right made a, a bit of a dent the loading dock is open now that little john deere just doesn't quite handle it you guys but it does it a, a little bit like we can get through at least now but i'm still gonna need to like move some snow so this stuff is just not gonna be able to handle this hopefully no one steals this i'm gonna shut this down quickly um we're gonna need the snowblower still i'm sure at the front but i mean we're getting there it's a little bit headway another hour of work and i'm sure we'll be done with that oshkosh and the kubota let's head back to the farm all right oshkosh is fired up i got the kubota warming up here as well you know let's just run some tests quickly and see how well this handles some of these bigger snow banks you know what nothing worse than being like public and realizing something doesn't work the way you want it to um so i don't want to be at walmart and all of a sudden being like oh yeah look at this my brand new used truck is not working great let's uh let's just test this thing out can i lower that down oh i can too perfect let's just fire that up let's push some snow over this way and see oh yeah, yeah okay yeah, no problem no problem i'm just gonna eat that up pretty easily i like that you know what i think i've proven that it works the way i want it to let's go all right let's make sure we uh close this place up this time maybe close the doors too that might be beneficial get the kubota out there and away we go hey we don't have any door sensors huh just put some lasers down there so i don't back into this by accident anyways let's uh let's take all the equipment over there shall we all right oshkosh is here i think the plan is going to be we got to open up the loading dock is good so maybe the front doors first and then the loading dock and then the parking lot that's the plan i want to make a route around the outside as well so we, we can kind of get in and out so it's like one's an entrance, one's the exit, and yeah, you get it. So there's a way to get around the whole place, right? That's got to be the plan. All right, guys, let's see if we can move some of this snow out of the way here. Um, just kind of push it forward. I'm going to see if I can push it all the way down and maybe pile it at the far end. That's the other thing you got to think of when you're doing this. You got to pile the snow as well. It can't just be just moved and put someplace, right? You got to pile it up. So fire this on up, and we'll see if we can just kind of come around the corner here nice and easy. Oh, boy, that's, um, that's a lot of snow yeah 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 yeah. kind of push it to the right a little bit get a little bit of snow cleaned up over this way there we go that looks okay yeah there we go now we're making making some headway there we go now we're gonna have at least a path here and like i like i said i want to make make it so cars can at least get in and then get back out as well like it can't just be one way because everyone's just gonna get jammed up in here right like it, it it's bad enough as is but if I can just kind of get it so they can get to that exit right there on the left, or right, I should say, then we're good. Problem with doing it this way is that, well, we're obviously going to cause a bit of an issue because, um, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start pushing snow probably this direction at some point. And we've already got stuff cleaned up here. Oh, there's a big rut right there. It's causing me all sorts of grief. Anyways, it, it's going to cause a little bit of issues at some point. But at least, you know, by the time I get this done, most cars should be able to get in and out of the parking lot. Because there's already people trying to show up here and they can't stay closed all day. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's push it all up against that fence line. Hopefully we don't damage the fence at all. And uh, yeah, that's that, that's a little bit better. I'm going to have to probably get rid of this little pile at some point. It's all starting to solidify there. We can bring the Kubota up and load this pile up later. But that's looking better. There we go. All right. Let's see how I'm going to do the rest of this. Now, could be a bit of a problem. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to move the snow out of the uh, parking spots yet. That's quite a bit of snow that we're gonna have to push kind of up in this direction i think up against the guardrail here we'll have to clean it up from there it's once again the third thing i'm gonna worry about i kind of blocked it off so people can't get in here for now so it doesn't cause me any more problems i want to get the loading dock taken care of though which is right behind me so oh watch out for that guardrail clutch let's go turn around and we'll go that way yeah we'll just push it all forward for the time being at least it uh, should be all right i think should be able to handle it it's, we're getting a lot of snow though like I said, I want to get it all down to that back corner. Just so that we can clean that up there a little later on. But <laughs> it's a lot of snow. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, yeah. We got this. We got this. Perfect. Push this all right into the very back corner here. And uh, call it. That looks good. Oh, yes. Perfect. All right. I'm going to push a little bit more here as well. Get this all taken care of. 
And yeah, guys, I think that it's not too bad. I just have enough space to get some small trucks in here already. Won't take me that much longer, I don't think at all. I'm actually pretty happy with this. You know, this parking lot would be a lot easier to clean up if I didn't have to deal with these bloody shopping cart racks. You know what? I've got to push it out that way first. And then I can push it forward is kind of what it's come down to now. Unfortunately, not great. Bit of a pain. So our current solution for moving all these... Well, there's so many cars as part of our problem here. I've just been kind of making some basically windrows with the snow. Uh, there's just too much in the parking lot otherwise. Like I just kind of push some snow over. And, you know, you do a couple passes like this. And you can see we've got a couple of windrows built up now. And uh, we'll come back after and push those straight forward as kind of my plan. And we'll be able to kind of stack it all up at the end here. Should be all right. Now, it'd be even nicer if people would move their freaking cars. Oh, well. Um, I think I've got most of them dug out loud for them. Uh, I think it must have been like the night shift or something here that must have got their cars stuck in here. But, yeah, it's, it's, what a pain trying to move around cars with equipment this size. It's just too big. It's just too big. We might have to get the little plows out and see if we can get the rest of it. Or we could just let that melt, hopefully, soon. Like, how long is it? You've got to be some warm weather in the forecast sometime, right? Just, they got access to their parking lot. Should be good. Look at that. We've got lots of room now. All right, let's see if I can kind of just push this straight up. It's going to be a bit of a pain, though. Just with the angles. you got to try and angle that trough forward at the same time. Keep it so it's angled the right direction. There we go. Don't want to cover the, those carts. I mean, nothing worse than having a whole cart covered in snow, right? Right there. Nice and easy, nice and easy. There we go. Now we, can, now we should be good. Just to push stuff straight forward if I can. Yeah, there we go. Nice, 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 nice. We'll make a pile at the end here now. And uh, that part of the lot is almost ready to be open, guys. Perfect. Yeah, it seems to work out just fine. Now, I do need to clean up all these snow in the corners here that we're, we're kind of creating these piles. That is technically a roadway, of course. Um, it just doesn't dead end here. You got to kind of get around the parking lot at the back here. And Well, if cars park back here, no, it shouldn't be too many cars parking that far back. But still, it causes some grief. So um, I do need to load this truck up. And that's what the Kubota's for. We're going to grab the Kubota and uh, see if we can load this up with the rest of it. Watch out for that red car. Perfect. And I think everybody now can get their cars out. So we just need to, to get rid of some snow now. And then we're pretty much good. i got to clean up over there. But that's not bad. It's all nice and open at least. Can just push all that snow in the back corner and we're good. Now this is my favorite part. It's so cleaned up back here that it's just so much more satisfying to... To knock the snow down i mean just kind of nice take it easy take these big snow banks out and just move them over you know 10 feet at a time snowblower has no problem with it for the most part we're going to stack this up against the fence and this is where we're going to be dumping snow actually from the rest so uh we're going to go take the truck back there in a sec here load that up and we'll push all the snow over here is kind of the plan to keep it that's what it'll melt in the back so they don't use this for really anything every once in a while i can store trucks back here but that's it so yeah it works out Early well, but so much so much easier when there's no cars parked in your way or shopping buggies for that matter. And just kind of nice and easy. Push the snow back here and uh yeah, way better. Look at that. Perfect. Alright, let's uh, go get the Kubota. I think we're about ready to start packing the rest of the snow over this way. So that's pretty much the the gist of it. Not not bad little contract. Like I said, hopefully you don't have to do this too much more this winter. As um it, it, it's kind of a the pain to be honest especially like it happens all at once i mean we don't have anything else going on the farm is not really fully operational of course you guys are know um it, it works but it's it's not like we have a lot going on there we've got no animals to worry about uh we've got some crops to plant coming up well once the snow melts we'll have a barley harvest come next year it, i mean the yeah we're, we're still growing and we, the landscaping stuff is really keeping us busy in the winter at least especially the, the off-season months at least this stuff can kind of keep us going. It keeps steady income. We still haven't sold the old rental business yet. So there's a lot of things that still are still are in motion and flux. We're still in flux. This should be our last bucket, I believe. It's getting pretty full already in that little dump. That little dump bed looks good there. Let's go leave this right here. We'll drop the bucket down. It's still got some in it. And uh, we'll take the Oshkosh around back. Oh boy. This thing is so big. Even if we could turn this out like 180 degrees, it'd be nice to, be able to load some of it in the back, but that's, that's no go on this on this model. It's too old for that. All right. Dump this right here. There we go. Kind of make a little bit of a ramp for this with snow. And uh, yeah, this is going to be where we're going to be trying to, trying to store all our snow for the time being here. Oh, as long as I don't get stuck. Come on. Get up there. There we go. Come on down now. Come on down. You you can do it. <laughs> oh, boy. There we go. That's better. Just need to lock the diffs a little bit. That's all. There we go. And uh, we can turn those off again. 
Perfect. All right. I got a few of those to make, and we'll uh, we'll finish this up, guys. A couple, a couple of trips. Shouldn't take us too long. There's only like two piles there that are kind of encroaching on the road. Not worried about all of it. All right, guys. Walmart's cleared. I'm pretty happy with that. We got quite a bit of snow back there. And uh, it's as good as it's going to get until these cars get moved. So I think we'll call it there. Um, I'm going to head back. See if there's any more contracts that need to be picked up. Maybe we can pick up some snow clearing contracts someplace and we'll go from there. So as always, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed our snow clearing here on Middleburg. Hold on. Out at the Walmart. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, cheers to you members. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing. Anyways, guys, have a great day. And we'll talk to you um, once the snow clears, all right? Have a good one. This is Clutch. Over and out.